Domo Amejin des. Have you ever wondered what this emoji is? Or this one? Or this one? To the Japanese people, these are normal things and they all have meaning. Most of the emojis in the emoji keyboard, in fact, are directly related to Japanese culture. And in this video, I'm going to explain just about all of them and what they mean. First on our list is the ogre and goblin emojis. By the way, that is officially what Apple has labeled them. The ogre emoji is actually a namahage, a Japanese mythical demon looking creature. During New Year's in Japan, people put on straw coats and wear namahage masks, going around to people's homes yelling for all the bad children. It's basically Japan's version of you better watch out, you better not cry. The goblin emoji is actually a tengu. A Japanese mythical creature that usually takes the form of a bird. In the past, they were known for being very disruptive and violent, but since then, their reputation has really softened. Next up is this emoji it's a kimono, which is pretty obvious to you, but since it's directly tied to Japanese culture, I thought I'd throw it in there anyway. Kimono are traditional Japanese clothing that are typically worn at special occasions such as graduations. Apple lists this next one as pine decorations in English. This is kadomatsu in Japanese. These pine decorations are typically placed in front of homes and shops during the New Year season. Next up is this emoji or tanabata tree in English. Apple did a pretty good job of naming this one, but I'm not sure that a lot of English speakers know what Tanabata is. In Japanese culture, Tanabata is a festival that celebrates the mythical deities Orihime and Hikoboshi. The lore behind this festival, also known as the Star Festival, is very interesting and I highly recommend you look it up yourself. This emoji represents Tanabata, but actually depicts a Tanzaku leaflet hanging off of a bamboo tree. Japanese do this during the Tanabata festival, writing wishes and other things on the Tanzaku leaflet in hopes that their wish will come true. Next on our list is this emoji. Apple calls this pot of food, but to the Japanese, it's so much more. In Japanese, this is called nabe. Now, if you search nabe in a Japanese English dictionary, the definition pot will definitely come up. However, it's more than just a pot that you cook things in, it's a whole meal. In Japanese, you can say, We're having nabe for dinner tonight. Now, this doesn't mean you're having pot for dinner. It means you're going to have some kind of meal cooked and simmered in the pot. Usually, this includes a lot of vegetables, sometimes noodles, and a meat like pork. Nabe. This emoji is labeled as curry and rice in English. And. I have no complaints here, that's exactly what it is. Ah, uh, I love me some curry and rice. <laughs> this emoji is sushi, like real Japanese sushi. The stuff that we pass along as sushi in America is actually a type of Japanese sushi called maki sushi. And it's not eaten as regularly as normal sushi in Japan. Regular sushi is just fish, usually raw. On white rice, which is exactly what is pictured here in this emoji. This emoji is called bento box in English. The Japanese word is obento. Obento. A bento box is just an assortment of different foods in a box. Parents usually make it for their kids, spouses make it for one another, girlfriends can make it for their boyfriends, or vice versa. It's basically Japan's equivalent to the lunchbox in America. Up next is an emoji labeled as dumpling in English. The Japanese would call this gyoza. Gyoza. I love gyoza. <laughs> if you're ever in Japan for a long period of time and asked to volunteer at some kind of food event,、uh, usually people will have you make gyoza. It's very simple and very delicious. 
Maybe you've seen this next emoji when you were watching Pokemon as a kid. Apple calls it rice ball in English, which is exactly what it is. A ball of rice, usually with some other ingredient in the middle, wrapped in seaweed. Rice balls, onigiri in Japanese, are sold in literally every convenience store in Japan. They often contain ingredients on the inside of the rice ball like fish, chicken, pork, mayonnaise, etc. This emoji is cooked rice in English, gohan in Japanese. Pretty easy to understand. Apple labels this emoji as rice cracker in English. In Japanese, it's called osenbe. This is indeed a rice based cracker,、uh, which is sometimes accompanied by seaweed,、uh, which you can see in the emoji here. Next up is Naruto! Okay, just kidding. <laughs> it's this emoji, which is called Naruto or Naruto Maki. And you will notice many connections between this food item and Naruto in the anime. Here you can see Naruto eating ramen with Naruto in it. The swirl on Naruto can also literally be seen on the back of Naruto. But what is Naruto, anyways? According to Apple, this is fish cake with swirl design in English. It's, I mean, that's kind of it. It's just a fish paste. Item with a swirl design that's commonly found in ramen as well as other foods in Japan. This emoji is labeled as oden in English, which is exactly what it represents in Japanese. Oden is a lot like nabe in that it's just a bunch of ingredients thrown together in a pot. The main difference is that oden is typically eaten during the winter months. You can make it any way you want.、Uh, popular ingredients include potatoes, daikon, Seaweed,、uh, tofu, fish based products, boiled eggs, etc. This emoji simply depicts several oden ingredients on a skewer. This emoji is odango, or just dango as Apple has labeled it in English. This is another food item, usually a sweet ball shaped、uh, dumpling. For those of you who are unaware, there is a beautiful song out there called Big Dango Family. Uh, from a wonderful anime called Clan Ad. I highly recommend you all go watch it. Apple calls this emoji sake bottle and cup. And basically, they're right on the money with this one. For those of you who think this emoji represents the Eiffel Tower but in red, you're wrong. This is actually the Tokyo Tower in Tokyo, which, by the way, is about 13 meters taller than the Eiffel Tower. This emoji is a Japanese castle. This emoji is a Japanese post office. We know it's the Japanese post office because it has the Japanese symbol for mail plastered right on the front of it. This emoji stands for the Japanese convenience store. In Japan, convenience stores are open 24 hours, hence the big 24 plastered on the front of the building. This emoji represents a love hotel. And if you think that's romantic, maybe you should do a little more research on the topic. This emoji is a symbol of a Tori gate and represents Shinto shrines. On Japanese maps, you will see these symbols everywhere, as shrines are kind of a big thing in Japan. Apple labels this emoji as Silhouette of Japan. In Japanese, it's literally translated as Map of Japan. Apple labels this emoji as moon viewing ceremony in English, which is exactly what it is. It's called otsukimi in Japanese. This emoji represents yen banknotes. Labeled carp streamer in English, this is koinobori in Japanese. Around Children's Day in Japan, these fish flags, if you will, are hung outside in celebration of the holiday. They can actually cost a lot, so people take really good care of them. These are Japanese dolls according to Apple, Hina Ningyo according to Japanese. This emoji depicts the dolls that are typically displayed everywhere in Japan during Hina Matsuri,、uh, also sometimes called Girls' Day in Japan every March 3rd. This Izakaya lantern in English is just that a red lantern hung out of cheap dining establishments, usually called izakaya in Japanese. The lamps themselves are called akachochin in Japanese. This emoji represents a wind chime. 
the ones you typically see in Japan. You might recognize it from a certain Pokemon you've seen in the past. This emoji is called Hūrin in Japanese. This is a public post box. In Japan, you will see these red boxes everywhere outside. Simply put the mail that you want sent inside and the Japanese post office will do the rest. This is called posto in Japanese. Now we're getting to those really unused characters at the bottom of your emoji keyboard. This emoji is the first character from the word kano in Japanese meaning acceptable or possible. And that's exactly what this emoji means, acceptable. This emoji comes from the Japanese word yūryō, meaning you have to pay money. The next emoji is its opposite, and it comes from the Japanese word muryō, meaning free of charge, you don't have to pay money. This emoji comes from the Japanese word shinsē, meaning application or petition. Next is this emoji from the Japanese word eigyō chū, meaning open for business. This emoji comes from the Japanese word getsugaku, meaning a monthly amount, as in the monthly amount you have to pay your landlord for rent. This white flower emoji, as Apple puts it in English, is typically seen on the homework and tests of elementary schoolers if they did well. There's actually Japanese text on the inside that reads taihen yoku dekimashita, which literally translates to you did very well. It's the Japanese equivalent to an A+. This emoji is otoku, which basically means a bargain or benefit. You typically see this in the mall and in stores. This emoji represents himitsu, which means secret in Japanese. You could send this emoji to your friends in a text if what you've just told them, uh, you want them to keep secret. This emoji comes from the Japanese word oiwai, uh, which means congratulations or celebration. This emoji comes from the Japanese word gokaku, which means past, as in I just passed my exam. This emoji comes from the Japanese word manseki, meaning all seats are taken, there is no more room. That is the generally assumed origin of this emoji. It could also equally have come from the words main and mansha. This emoji comes from the Japanese word for sale, or discount, waribiki. This emoji comes from the Japanese word kinshi, meaning prohibited, not allowed. These next four emojis represent the four main blood group types, A, B, AB, and O. In Japanese culture, blood types are very, very important. A lot of people use their blood types as personality identifiers similar to astrological signs here in the West. Because of the emphasis on people's blood types, practically everyone in Japan knows their own blood type. And as a result, these emojis were added in. To the Japanese, this is read as kuriya, and it's an adjective. In English, this is clear, as in boss level, clear. This is nafuda in Japanese, meaning name tag or badge. This is ikari in Japanese, meaning anger. This emoji represents hot springs or onsen in Japanese. At first looking at this, uh, when I first started learning Japanese, I thought it was steaming hot, freshly baked bread, <laughs> but it's actually representing the steam that comes off of the very hot waters of the onsen itself. This emoji is the part alteration mark in English or utakigo in Japanese. It's normally used to indicate the beginning of a singer's part in no and denga songbooks. This emoji represents the symbol for beginners in Japanese, shoshinsha. You will see this symbol on a lot of cars in Japan, marking the driver as a new driver. In my old town in Japan, people had to stick this uh, mark somewhere on their car to let other people know that they were new drivers. They had to do this for at least a year. This emoji represents the Japanese word shiteseki, meaning reserved, as in a reserved seat. This emoji represents the Japanese symbol for cyclone or hurricane. This emoji represents an open seat or spots available, as in kūseki and kūsha. The symbol in this emoji comes from the Japanese word sabis, meaning service. 
It can also mean service charge. The symbols in this emoji are koko, uh, which is the Japanese word for here. This emoji represents the Japanese phrase NG, which the Japanese borrowed from the English words no good. You can use this in Japanese when someone is about to bring up a topic that will be offensive or irritating for someone else. Ah,、uh, that topic is NG for him. The final emoji tied to Japan is this. Apple labels this as crossed flags in English. The Japanese name for it is very different. Shukujitsu, meaning holiday. So, did any of these surprise you guys? What did you learn from emojis today? What was your favorite emoji? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear your opinions. Otherwise, that's about it. Bye bye. Peace, guys.